Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and I'm back with another video. I'm feeling much better. I've been a little sick lately and down in my back. So I've come back today because I got to run some errands before Black Friday because I don't want to go to town on Black Friday. So I'm going to do a little makeup look with this palette I got from the BoxyCharm pop-up. It's the Hank and Henry Poison Palette. And this is the front of the Poison Palette. And this is the back. And let's get the plastic out. Here are our colors that I'm going to be working with today. Probably going to go with a green look just because I got a little green top. If you like this kind of video, like, comment, and subscribe below. And let's just get into the video. I've already done my base, my eyebrows, and I put on a little lip gloss. Um, nothing too dramatic. I'm just going to go in with a little fluffy brush. Let's see. I think I'm going to choose... I think it's Stretch 9, this... Neonish yellow green color. And I'm just going to put that in the crease in the outer V. Knock off the excess. Make sure to tap out my base. The only palette I've ever used from Hank and Henry was the Living in Color. And I wasn't quite a fan. But um, a friend of mine, Jeannie, said to pick these up. These were fabulous. And so I trusted her. Let's see what happens. So far this color is laying down very nice. I need to get my eyebrows done. But COVID got us all looking a little crazy. Which, if you let your eyebrows grow, grow wild, I love it. I wish mine weren't so patchy. I just let them go. But Mine, I'm very lucky that I have full brows, but I do have some spots. This color's showing up really nice. I didn't know, since it's more of a neon color, how it would look. Alright, I'm just going to do that to the other side. I'm going to tap out the base. Just filling that color in pretty good on the crease and upper eye area and outer V. Is anybody planning to do something for Thanksgiving or is everybody just trying to stay in? It's a hard decision because you want to see your family, obviously, but you also want to keep your family safe. And where I'm at, they're trying to enforce no more than six people at a get-together. Um, which I'm not really sure how they'd enforce it unless like maybe somebody got called for a noise violation or too many people and that's how cops would find out. But as far as I know, it's just a fine if the cops decide to give you a fine. But we're mandated again to wear a mask everywhere, but then they're not saying anything if you don't. So it's, it's just kind of crazy right now. Which I'm sure is the same way everywhere. I'm going to go into Poise Sun, whoops, Poise Sun Ivy, this green right here. I'm just going to go in on the outer V and in the actual crease to define everything I'm doing. These colors are coming off really nice. I didn't realize it's going to be so as bright as they are. I think I want to do an all green look. Well, that's really pretty. Not exactly the green that's in my top, but I didn't really care so much about my makeup matching my clothes. I know a lot of people. If they put on a blue shirt, they try to either do like browns or blues or something that kind of goes with it. But I've just never done that. I've always just done my makeup however I wanted to. And if it matched, it matched. If it didn't, it didn't. Mm. 
Well, we kind of steely, but that's just the way I've always done it. I'm going to take that first brush again with no extra product and kind of blend everything out. I just want everything to kind of, it's more of a summer look, I guess, but another thing I've never really cared about is how looks do together. I think what I want to do next is this Tox Sick shade right here. I'm going to put it kind of just right in this area. Yeah. And I'll get a lot of shade for the inner third. I'll probably have to go into another palette, but that's fine. It's a pretty color, too. I really love the colors in this palette. My Jeffrey palette should be here soon, which I'm excited for. I'm shocked that Beauty List was behind Jeffrey because usually Jeffrey's shipping is um, always late, but I mean, that's something you just never know. There is some fallout, as you see. And hopefully, that will brush away. We're fixing to find out. Let me get this off my finger really quick. I keep a makeup eraser beside me. There's still some there. Get my foundation brush. Oh, that's much better. All right, and then I'll go up underneath some too. So I think I'm gonna take Classy Cakes, the Gamara shade right here, this green, this lighter green, and tap it that on the inside. take the first brush again and just make sure everything is blended in nice. I do like that. I'm going to take Snowflake, this white shade right here. I'm going to dab it a little bit in the middle. Just take and just a little glow to my eye. I'm going to take that first brush again and just make sure it's all. I like that a lot. Get a little pencil brush. Well, it's not exactly a pencil brush, but a small brush. And put that on the inner corner. Brighten some things up. And then we'll take the second brush I use in the brighter green. And without getting any more product, I'm just going to go right up under the eye. I don't want to blow it out too much. I always blow it out so much. And I think today I'm just going to do a little bit. Of course, there, I mean, I blew it out anyway. <laughs> And I think I'm happy with that. So let's get, I think I'm going to go in with um, Lagoon, the Makeup Forever Aquas Resist. And just do my waterline. These are definitely worth the money. If you need a liner that's not going to move in your waterline. They're Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Eyeliners. Color pencils, I think is what they call them. But once they're in there, they don't go anywhere until you use makeup remover. That's for sure. Um, so let's just get some mascara. 
I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash today. Just put a light coating on. I know a lot of people like to go in hard on their mascara. And I do too certain days, but a lot of days... I want my eyeshadow to shine, so I don't want to cover them up with fake lashes or a whole lot of mascara. Which probably sounds a little silly, but everybody likes their makeup a little different. Now that my I've stopped using the lash serum and my eyelashes aren't so big, it's not much of a problem. I'm so excited to, I only got a few Christmas presents left. I'm really excited about that. And I think that's the finished look. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, we used the Hank and Henry Poison Palette. And I will hopefully see you next time. You guys stay safe, make good decisions, and I love you all. Bye, guys.